Let's take a look at example number six, performing operations with three or more fractions. All right, so here we have one four plus two third plus three eighths. So sometimes when people see operations with more than two fractions, they like freak out and they think they make it a lot harder than what it is, but we're still gonna take our foundation that we have. <clears throat> we're gonna apply the same skills. The only difference is that we just have to do it more than once. So anytime you guys have multiple fractions, in this instance, we're adding all around, but let's just say if we had like subtraction or multiplication or division, you're always gonna combine your fractions two at a time. All right, and you always have to follow your order of operation. So in this instance, because we have two um, addition signs, we're just gonna work from left to right. All right, but if the um, signs were mixed, always make sure you follow your order of operation. So that means we are going to combine these two fractions first. All right, and then whatever answer we get from there, we'll combine it to the three eighths. All right, so if we have one fourth plus two thirds, we are going to use the butterfly method because the butterfly method is uh, one of the easier methods if you never really learn how to complete fractions using the um, least common denominator. But if that's the method that you prefer to use, that's cool too. All right, so we're gonna multiply straight across the bottom. So four and three are gonna give us 12. And then we're gonna cross multiply diagonally. So one and three give us three. And four and two give us eight. All right, so we're gonna insert three and eight. And then we're going to simplify. So 3 plus 8 gives us 11 over 12. All right, so now we're going to bring down this 3 eighths. And we're going to repeat the same process. All right. So we're going to say 11 twelfths plus 3 eighths. All right, so we draw our fraction, our addition sign. All right, and let's get to work. So we use the butterfly method. We're going to multiply straight across the bottom. So 12 times 8 gives you 96. Cross multiply. So 11 times 8 gives you 88. And 12 and 3 give us 36. All right, so we have 88 plus 36, which is going to give us 124 over 96. All right, so at this point, you guys should feel pretty good about combining fractions. If not, <clears throat> you need to go back to the beginning of cluster four to review so you can strengthen that skill because you're definitely going to need it um, for questions like this and our word problems that involve fractions. So what's the problem here? We have an improper fraction, so we need to go ahead and convert that to a mixed number. And again, at this point, <clears throat> that should be something you guys are well versed in. So don't forget to utilize your calculator. You want to say how many times can 96 go into 120, 124? So if you do 124 divided by 96 in your calculator, it's going to give you one point something, something, something. We're only looking at the whole number. So it's going to give us one. And we're going to have 28 left over, over 96. So remember, our fraction always has to be in the lowest terms. So 28 and 96 are both even. Which means, oops, sorry. Um, 28 and 96 are both even, so I can reduce both of those by 2. So if I reduce by 2, uh, 28 divided by 2 is what? 14. And 96 divided by 2 is 48. I still got two even numbers, so I can reduce by 2 again. 14 by 2 is 7. 48 by 2 is 24. All right, so that's. 1 and 7 over 24 is our final answer. So if we take a look at the question again from the top, anytime you guys perform operations with three or more fractions, you always want to do your math two fractions at a time, and then you just continue to combine until you get to your final answer. So in this instance, because we had two addition signs, I just work from left to right. So I combine one fourth and two thirds first using the butterfly method. Um, once I got my final answer, I dropped down my additional fraction, and then I started over from there. So we said 11 twelfths plus 3 eighths using the butterfly method. We ended with 124 over 96, which of course is improper. Why? Because the number at the top is bigger than the number at the bottom. So we had to change that to a mixed number. And then always remember to reduce your answer down to its lowest terms. So we ended with 1 and 7 over 24.